Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, Getting Started for Sub-Admins Using Sign of Genius. Before we get started, let's introduce you to our team members. I'm Samantha. I'm the Director of Education and Training with Club Express, another branch of Lumiverse, our parent company. And I'm joining me today are Sign of Genius experts, Kelly and Charlie. Today, Kelly is going to show you how to create a sign up using your sub-admin account. Kelly has been with Sign Up Genius since 2015, working in customer support and enterprise sales. Prior to joining Sign Up Genius, she was an elementary school teacher for 10 years in North Carolina and Virginia. Her favorite part of working at Sign Up Genius is seeing the positive impact customers are making in their communities. Charlie is in the chat and ready to answer your questions live. Before joining Sign of Genius in 2020, Charlie taught middle school English in Charlotte, North Carolina, and her favorite part of working at Sign of Genius is helping give time back to busy customers, especially educators, who use the site to simplify scheduling or events. And with that, I will hand it off to Kelly for the rest of our session. Kelly? Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, here's our agenda for this evening. We're going to cover how to log into your paid account, creating a conference style time slot sign up, go over some suggestions and tips for settings on your sign up, how to share your sign up, and a peek at our latest feature, the QR code generator, creating a report, and then we'll have Q&A time and share some helpful links for you as well. So I'm showing you a final product of a conference appointment sign up. You see here that we have three columns, the date, a column for times, and a column for available slots. So this is our finished product. A few things that I want you to notice is that there are no third party ads on this sign up. If you are a gold subscriber, then you know you need to manually assign those no ad licenses. But if you're platinum or enterprise, those third-party ads are automatically removed. And also notice that the Sign Up Genius branding has been removed from this sign up. Typically, when you view a sign up created in a basic or premium level account, our orange header across the top of the sign up is displayed. At the enterprise level, you have the option to remove that branding. All right. So one of our number one questions on the support team is. I'm an administrator on my organization's account and I'm not seeing the features. And we typically know that they are logging in, but they're missing one key step. So when you've been assigned as a sub-admin for a paid account, you may receive an email from the account holder letting you know that you've been assigned and you have permission to work in their account. What you'll do next is you'll go to signupgenius.com and click login. If you already have an account, a free account or any account with us using that same email address on signupgenius.com, you can log in with those email and password credentials. If you don't have an account, you'll just click new account and register. After logging in, you will have two options. You'll have the option to log in as me, or log in as admin. And this is the step that a lot of people miss. When you choose log in as me, that is your personal free sign up genius account. You can log in there to see items that you've signed up for or maybe past signups that you've created. But one key indicator that you are not in the organization account is you're going to see ads. When you choose log in as admin, even though that may feel a little strange and you think, oh, I, I don't know if I should be logging into this account. You've been given permission with your credentials to work in this account. And you'll notice that you don't have ads. You have access to a host of tools that will allow you to create those fantastic signups for your organization. So after logging in, always choose login as admin to work in your organizational account. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started on how to create a sign up. As I said earlier, whether you're a gold, platinum, or enterprise subscriber, we all have to follow the same three simple steps to creating a sign up. Even though we're going to walk through creating a time slot conference style sign up, 
These are the same three steps that you'll go through regardless of the type of signup that you're creating. When you first log in, the first thing you're going to see here is your signups page. I like to call this home base. Whenever you are working on a signup or trying to find a tool, if you'll get back to home base, you can usually find what you're looking for. So whenever you log in as an admin, depending on your permissions, you may see a list of signup. So if you are a full admin or if you've been given permission to manage signups that someone else has created, you may see those listed here in the signups I can administer section. If you've been added to the role of creator, which means you can only view and manage signups that you have created yourself, first time you log in, you're not going to see anything here. So you can take just a minute and explore this signups page. You'll notice that on the left side, there are multiple icons that direct you to different areas of the account. I want to point you to groups, messages, reports. Those are all very important areas that have a lot of advanced features that will be helpful for you. If you have started creating a signup, maybe you've published it or maybe it's not published yet and you want to go continue working on it, you'll click the pencil icon and that takes you back through these same three steps to edit any portion of your signup. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we would do is click create a signup. And we start with the first step, which is the design tab. The design tab is where you'll enter the title of your signup. You'll assign a group. That's who you're inviting. Notice that the group does show up on your signup. So you might want to make it Miss Johnson's 2023 20, 24 class, or you know, something that makes sense to identify who you're inviting to this event. The next section, your category, this is strictly for Sign Up Genius purposes. It will not have any impact on the finished product of your sign up or, or the layout or options that you're given. This is just for us to know what types of signups are being created. The next step is applying your theme. We have a host of free and paid themes on our site, so you can choose from one of those. You can also click on the drop-down menu and get to your custom themes. So if your school or organization has made a theme that they want you to use with their branding and their colors on it, then you can select that from this step. One thing I want to make sure to point out is when you create your signup, you want to make yourself the contact person. By default, the signup account owner is going to be the contact person. So when you click that pencil icon, you can change the name of who the contact person is, and then you can select your name and email address as the person who will receive notifications related to this signup. And then last, if you want to include any additional information, Click the pencil icon next to the general details area, and you can add additional text to your sign up. All right, once you've got those basics entered, the next step is your slots tab. You'll see that there's a few different options for your layout. You've got sort by date, which puts your dates and times on the left side, and your slot title on the right. There is sort by slot, which just reverses those two. It puts the slot first and then your dates and times. And then there's slots only. And that's good for maybe you're collecting donations or party supplies and you want to get them in by a deadline, but not really associate a specific date and time. That's when you would choose slots only. But today we're going to focus on adding time slots and personally, I like to put the dates and times on the left. So I've selected sort by date, and then I'm going to click add dates. From there, you've got three options. You can add your dates and times from the calendar. You can choose add recurring days or add time slots. Please don't miss this very important time saver. Since most conferences are going to be back to back in segmented amounts of time, adding time slots is going to allow you to enter some parameters and it will automatically create those time slots for you. So for this example, we've got a start date of October 18th and an end date of October 19th. And we've selected that that's a Wednesday and Thursday. 
So we want appointments that begin at 3.30 and end at 8, and they're 30 minutes apart. Entering those parameters will automatically create those time slots on those two dates between those time ranges. If you want to add in a physical location, you've got that option. And then we also have a Zoom integration if you want to add in a meeting link for a virtual meeting. So after you enter those parameters, it will go ahead and populate all your dates and times for you. And then you'll click Add Slots. Slots identifies what someone is signing up for. So in this case, we're going to keep our title very simple, just appointment. You can add a help comment if you wish. Number wanted would be one. That means for each of your time slots, you want one person to sign up. And you can go ahead and assign that to all your dates and times. And then your preview of your finished product has those 30-minute time slots and an appointment with a quantity of one, allowing one person to sign up for each. The third step is the settings tab. This is where you will set some preferences. Do you want to gather information? You can ask a custom question, maybe the student's name, or do you have any concerns? Privacy is very important. If you don't want the names of the parents who signed up for appointments to show, be sure to click this gear icon and select to hide the names and comments from participant view. When you're logged in, you have permission to see those names, but to the general public, it will just say slot filled. Below this area, there are some settings and preferences. These have to do with your automatic reminders, whether you would like to receive a notification whenever someone signs up. And then the, there's another area called restrictions and the restrictions tab is full of additional advanced features. So some helpful ones for parent conferences, quantity limits. This would allow you to select how many slots a parent could sign up for. That way they're not, you know, taking up two slots or holding slots till they decide which one they want. Sign up locking is convenient if you want to prevent last minute changes on the sign up. And then a start stop date. If you want to completely close down a sign up or decide when that sign up opens, you can add a time for the sign up to open and a time for it to close. So after you've completed those three steps, the next tab is the publish tab. This allows you to take a look at your sign up, see if everything looks the way you want it to look. You can always go back to any of those steps and make any changes that you want to. You can preview how it looks on a computer, how it looks on a mobile device. And if you're all done, you can go ahead and just click publish. And once you've published the sign up, what used to be the publish tab is now the share tab. Publishing your sign up does not automatically send invites. So if you have people in your group and you publish a sign up, don't worry. It's not going to automatically be sent to them until you send that invite. There's several ways that you can share your sign up. One, simply copy the link. We give you the link here once you've published it. Two, our latest feature, this is for gold, platinum, and enterprise level subscribers. You can generate a QR code. The QR code, you've got some color options, some file options, and these are great for putting on flyers, newsletters, posters. We see QR codes everywhere now. So these are really great for parents that maybe they're coming in for Meet the Teacher and you've got your conference sign up ready. Put the QR code up and let them sign up right there on their phones. Another way of sharing your sign up is to send invites through our messages area. So if you want to add email addresses to the group associated with your sign up, you can go to our messages area, compose an invite, and send those through Sign Up Genius. Now, if you're an enterprise level subscriber, you have the ability to create a portal page. And a portal page is a custom landing page that allows you to put multiple signups in one spot. You can attach additional documents share links to additional pages or sites. You can even embed this page on your own website. 
but this makes it really simple for parents to just have one link. You can share this link on social media or share this link on your school website and a parent can come and search through the signups for their child's teacher. And if they have multiple teachers or if they have multiple children, um, it just makes it really easy for them to find those signups without having to look through emails and newsletters and Canvas pages and, and try to find where they saw those signup links. So this portal page feature is available at the enterprise level only. All right, so you've created your signup, you've shared your signup. Now it's time for your conferences. From your signups page, from that home base page, if you click reports, then you've got the option to build an exportable report uh, across a single sign up or multiple sign ups. So here you would select your sign up. You can include all dates, or maybe this isn't just for conferences. Maybe it's for a different event that has a lot of dates. You could enter the date range if you want to, and then choose the data fields that you want populated in your report. Click generate report, and it will show right here at the top of your reports page and you can view it and export it, print that out, save it on your device. You've got all the information for who's coming, their contact information, the response to those custom questions that you asked, a phone number, any of that information that you gathered that's only visible to you and uh, available by creating that custom report. All right, so will you let me know if there are any questions that have come in on the chat? I did get uh, one question. Uh, the question was, how can I move a parent to a different time slot or delete them from their appointment if they have um, any changes? Yes, that is a great question. Uh, let me share my screen again. So often you may get the last minute email or message from a parent that says, oh, I need to make a change, but I, I can't find my, you know, my email confirmation and my reminder to make the change. I'm, you know, I'm not coming. Maybe you want to open that slot back up for somebody else or move them to another time. So let me pull up here a sign up. The sign up has a few different dates and times, got some people signed up. When you're viewing your sign up and you're logged in as the administrator, at the very top, you have an admin toolbar. A lot of great tools are here. But if you click add, edit, delete people, this will show you the people who were signed up and you've got the option to delete them or you can select them and move them to a different slot. So maybe somebody said, oh, I'm stuck in traffic. Do you have anything later? Then you can go move them to a different slot. You've even got the option to send them an email when you make that change, uh, notifying them of their new date and time. If you have someone who maybe is not able to access a device to get signed up and you wanna sign up for them, then you go to the same area, add, edit, delete people, click sign someone up. And you can simply enter their name. And uh, you don't even have to enter their email address or anything. You can bypass all of that since you're the administrator. Choose the slot where you want to sign them up. You can bypass the custom questions if you have any. Save and finish. And then now you've got that person signed up and uh, filling that slot. So great question. I think that might be all the questions we okay. have for now. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks everyone for joining us. Have a great evening.